Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm going to be doing a current favorite slash like kind of January favorites for the month. It is February 1st so January is currently over. Duh. Some of these products I got either for Christmas, a little bit after Christmas, or towards the beginning of January and I have been loving them all month so I wanted to share with you guys. So I'm going to do kind of categories. I'm going to start off with like I guess you could say fashion but it's basically just a pair of tennis shoes and some swim swimsuits um, and then I'm gonna do like kind of electronics I guess and then beauty favorites so thank you guys for watching um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below um, it really supports my channel and um, makes me continue making videos for you guys I guess so yeah I'm gonna start off with what I'm actually wearing so I've been really into gold um, dainty jewelry um, just kind of these hoops these hoops are actually from Amazon I can link them below and then also I have these two necklaces from Bella Dar which I showed in probably all my videos like I literally wear them this D um, Dylan got me for Christmas this year um, it just has like a D for his name and then these are the coordinates of where we met and this was from last year they're both Bella Dar and then I recently just actually picked up this long R that I just like to layer um, kind of like that with all my shirts um it kind of makes just like a cute white t-shirt like this look cute so i got this actually from amazon there's a blogger that i follow on instagram i can't exactly remember her name which is not good but yeah i'll link this down below it was literally like 11 dollars, and the gold like actually matches pretty well and it looks super cute so that is my first favorite second is i got the tennis shoes that i got um in the one I got for Christmas haul that I showed, I actually ended up returning. They weren't super comfortable on my feet, so I um, ended up returning. Every time I try to buy Nike tennis shoes, I always end up going back to Adidas because they're just so much more comfortable, I think. So I got these. They are just the Adidas Ultra Boost, I think. I've been wearing them almost like every day to class, um, and I've been really enjoying them. So I highly recommend if you're in search for a good pair of tennis shoes, these I got just like the white with the, it's kind of grayish stitching, but it's like ba they basically look all white. Um, yeah, I got it from dicksportinggoods.com, but adidas.com also has them in. They're super good. They're a little pricey, but I read reviews and everyone said the investment is so I decided to go for it. <laughs> so then moving into like, uh, I guess I'll do electronics actually. I say electronics and it's like two things, but. So Dylan got a Amazon Echo for Christmas and when I stayed with him over the break, we listened to like, we set our alarm every morning on the Amazon Echo instead of using our phone. And then we also would listen to like the rain noises and stuff every night, um, like to help you sleep instead of like a sound maker or whatever they're called. So. He ended up ordering me the little Amazon Echo Dot in the, they have like a cute new color out. It's like just this, it's just like this sandstorm color. I just put it on my bedside table at night and turn it on and literally if I want to know the weather when I wake up, if I'm like wondering how many layers I should wear to class or like what I should be wearing for that day or the temperature or if it's raining, etc. Anything with the weather, I can ask it. Um, I can set alarms, reminders, um, let it play my Apple Music straight from here. So it really is nice having, um, instead of always having to just do everything off your phone. So I really like that and thank you, Dylan. You're probably not watching this, but I really enjoy it. My other electronic, I guess you could say, has been my Apple Watch. This is just literally the Apple Watch one. I've had it since my 20th birthday. So I've had this for a while. So I have just the gold one. And then I recently just um, got this band for it. I watched Lauren Elizabeth's videos um, on YouTube, which I'm sure a lot of people do. And she has this band on her watch and I really liked it, but I went to go get it off the Apple store and it's like almost $150. So I'm like, I can literally almost buy a watch, a new watch for that price. So I went on Amazon and literally found this band. It was like $11.99. I'll have it linked below. It's super awesome. The magnet like really stays. I work out in this. I know like people don't like to work out in like the nicer bands and switch to the sport, but I literally just keep this one on. It's super nice and it looks cute with like all the jewelry that I'm always wearing. So I really like that. I also, the Apple Watch in general has been my favorite, not just the band. I've been really into like, um, seeing the calories I burn, how much I've been walking that day and whatnot. I try to walk to my classes on campus instead of always taking the bus. So that's like kind of a good little workout. And then for practice for um, dance dogs, I wear it and then can see like my activity at the end of practice, which is super nice. So moving on into like fashion, 
I'm doing this all out of order. I already did fashion, I did my tennis shoes, so it's great. Okay, well, I'm just gonna do randoms, I guess, at this point. So moving on into the swimsuit category um, are my new current favorites. All swimsuits are coming out because the season is like starting to kind of change up. Was skeptical about ordering Zoffel bikinis. I had ordered one last year from Romway, I think it was, and it was like a dupe of an L-Space swimsuit and it just didn't fit. It looked cute, but it didn't fit me like how I wanted it to. So I was hesitant about ordering a Zoffel bikini, but I, a lot of my friends here at school do, so I, Thought I would just give it a try, so I ordered two and they actually fit super cute. So I got this one, it was literally nine dollars and it's super good um, material. It's double lined, which is nice, and it's not like super thin or anything. So it's just these bottoms, which are super cute, and then it comes with this top where this just goes across the front, and then the back is just a tie, so it really can fit a bunch of sizes, I guess you could say. Um, I ordered this in a medium and I'm normally like a medium almost in everything and it fits super cute so I'm excited to wear that one. And then this is my favorite one I got from Zoffel. Um, it's a super high waisted swimsuit and again it's like double line which is nice and it's just this really pretty um, material so I really like that. And then the top is just like this. I don't have it tied but the middle can tie tighter because my torso isn't that wide. but. And there's no padding and stuff in these, which I really like. I'd, I like prefer some suit without padding. So these were both, this high-waisted one was 10 and this one was nine. So literally, even if you wear them a few times, like it's totally worth it. The other two swimsuits I wanted to show were these two I just got from a store in downtown Athens called Cheeky Peach. So they're the brand Mink Pink. And you can, and Mink Pink has a website in a lot of like retail, not retail, but like little boutiques, I think carry this brand, so. But anyways, you can get them off their website. And also Revolve has Mink Pink as well. So the first one I got was this top, which is super cute. No padding again, which is what I prefer. And then the back just looks like this and you tie it. And it's super cute. This was 49, but on, honestly, like for good quality and material, some of the swimsuits on Revolve, a top can be up to like $100, $200, which is actually absurd for a swimsuit. So I think like this is like a perfect price point. Um, and then the bottoms just look like this. And I like how the bottoms on these are full coverage. I kind of get sick of always having cheeky bottoms because sometimes you're like around adults and want your whole butt covered. I mean, I don't know if that's just me, but. And then the second one, this is my favorite one that I got. This is also from Mink Pink. I got it from Cheeky Peach if you do live in Athens. So it's just this melon design and it's super cute. And um, this one, the, the back comes up like a little high on your butt, which I like. And then it's just the side strings. The top is just like this, and there's ruffles all on the front, and then the back, you just tie to your liking. So I got a medium and a medium, and then the other one I got a medium and a small, and the top, that small top for some reason was a little bit small. So yeah, I got um, both of these from Cheeky Peach, and then the first two I showed from Zaffle. So I'll have them linked below if I can find them on Mink Pink's website, but yeah, I just kind of started getting a little head start on swimsuit shopping. My parents moved to Florida, so this summer I'll be going um, kind of back and forth a lot and kind of living at the beach, I guess, with my parents. So that'll be super fun and a lot of swimsuit picks to come, I guess. Okay, now moving into like beauty and such. I'll start with these two things. They're not really like beauty, but I guess they are. I'm not really sure. So I mentioned these in my last video, but they're just the Biotin Hair, Skin, and Nail Pills. So yeah, I just got these off of Amazon. Um, they were the Amazon's Choice, which is something I always follow, which is like, I'm like such a huge review person online. I do like a lot of online shopping when it comes to like, if I prefer online or in store, I prefer online. Um, and I always read the reviews and I really like them so far. I mean, I've only been taking them for probably the month and I already think that my hair is getting kind of thicker. It also doesn't feel as dry, which is nice. And then second, which is probably why my hair doesn't feel as dry, is because I've been using the Olaplex Hair Perfector. So this is the number three, the repairs and strengthen. So they, I know they have the shampoo conditioner, which I definitely want to try out, but this is just the um, third step. I literally put, so I have half a bottle left. This is my first bottle. I've used, I've only used it twice. I used like a little bit, just like by the roots the first time, and then realized that I needed to do 
all my hair so I put um, it all in my hair overnight and put like a hair cap on I guess and slept with it and the next morning showered and my hair was so um, nice like I normally have to blow dry blow dry it and then like curl it or something but literally my hair air dried and it wasn't frizzy and it was super nice um, and I really do think that it helped my end so this is highly recommended I got it off of Amazon but I know like Sephora and everything has it so that is nice we'll talk about this brand I'm not sure how to pronounce it Sol Janeiro I don't I have no idea but it's the Brazilian bum bum cream lotion I got this it actually came like in a set I got this for I actually got this on Black Friday so I've, been, I've had this since November and I use it very sparingly because it is an expensive lotion but I normally use it on my legs and like around I guess my butt and my upper thighs and I really do think that it firms up your skin and like makes your legs look nicer honestly um, and the smell is literally so nice so then I came with the body fragrance mist it's the Brazilian crush I keep this in my backpack um, for after workouts so I can just spray it and it smells so good I mean all the products smell the exact same and then I also keep this in my backpack the Brazilian kiss um, lip butter I'm like a huge chapstick lipstick person and this is probably I could say one of my favorites yeah so I've literally hit the very bottom I need to get another one but I've been like scraping it out with my fingernail which is disgusting but yeah so that came in a set and I really do highly recommend those products they are a little bit pricey but it's definitely worth it um especially for like spring and summer coming around it's nice to have like just a body mist instead of a perfume all the time so I really like all of these next let's go with these are two skincare products um this is the old Henriksen pore balance facial sauna scrub and it is the volcanic sand it literally looks like ground up like coffee beans when it comes out yeah so I put this on normally in the shower two to three times a week it says not to use it every day because it can kind of be rough on your skin but so I'll put this on in the shower your face is just damp and you rub it in it gets rid of all the dead and like dry skin which is a super nice feeling and leaves your face feeling like minty which is super nice and then I'll wash my face with the um this is like if I use this and I'll wash my face with uh, the face wash I'm using at the moment and then after the shower I've really been into using the summer Fridays face mask I know like every youtuber in person basically is talking about this it's the jet lag mask it is so good my face especially around my nose and my forehead has been super dry this winter season and this has really been helping it um, I let my roommate try it and she went and actually bought it because she really liked it. I highly recommend this product if you're looking for like a face mask or something. It is a little bit of a splurge. I think it's $48, but it's super worth it. I've had it for like a few weeks and still have like a good amount left. It's really thick and creamy. So those are two current skincare favorites I have. I've been liking this perfume I got for Christmas. I showed in my, um, what I got for Christmas. It's the Coco Mademoiselle Chanel Paris perfume. Um, like I said, like this is nice to have if I'm not doing something like super eventful that day and just want to like have a nice mist. But if I have like somewhere nice to go or like dressed up, I like to wear this. It's super strong and I've gotten a lot of compliments on it. So it's always nice when someone compliments like, oh, you smell good. You know, like your perfume's doing its job. So I really like that. And then last but not least, I've talked about this in probably every video I've posted so far on my channel, but the Laneige Sleeping um, Lip Mask is literally so good i wear it like i put it on not just um to sleep in i wear it so much and it really just it gives your lips a good gloss as well which is nice and it also um hydrates them super nice as well so yeah i think that's all the favorites i have currently of the month i actually just went to journey juice um in athens which is like a juice place so yeah i tried the just grapefruit it's literally just grapefruit juice and i'm in that's supposed to like speed up your metabolism and get all the gross stuff out of your body and i'm like really picky when it comes to juices i don't like super um greeny juices spicy like i don't like anything like that but i got this one in another one so i'll keep you guys updated on how i like it but juicing is like a juicing has always been like a thing but it's like starting to come back so i wanted to try out a few but i guess i couldn't say it's a favorite because i literally just bought them but yeah well thank you guys for watching um if you liked this video give it a thumbs up and i will be sure to post more like this leave a comment below on what type of videos you'd like to see in the future and thank you guys for watching